since I was 15 years old. Um, I just, I fell in love with it. I wanted to be stronger and I was at the gym every single day. Um, and then in my late mid thirties, people started asking me, you know, do you compete? Do you compete? And I have a lot of friends in the fitness industry that asked me that. And I started thinking about it the more they asked me and, okay. and like just up and smile, you know, and my friends were like, oh, well, she's smiling. and really smile for me, nutrition's the biggest part. So I like to compliment people that already have fitness, you know, just kind of get more people involved in realizing that they can work so hard in the gym, but if they're not eating right, you know, it's not going to get them to the right places. In my first major in college was exercise science. I've always helped friends and my mother always pushed me to do it. And you know, I started helping other people and I, I just decided that this, this is what I want to do. And I came up with this name, Fitness NYC, um, and I went with it. So I do nutrition and I do fitness plans. I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, but I do a lot of online training. And I decided I would start a team of competitors on my own um, because I really wanted to, I love strengthening women and making them feel better about themselves through fitness and through competing um, and coaching them and teaching them what I know. So the, the com competition component is one part of my business and then the other part is a lot of um, athletes and general populations. So, I, you know, you saw how my client was yesterday. She just feels so great about herself, and she loves her body, and she loves how she feels, and she's putting in so much work. I, I see her at the gym working out all the time. That is so, the most rewarding feeling in the world. You know, when I have my girls that say, and I don't even want to call them clients because they're like my family, you know, when I hear them say, this is the best day of my life, or I feel stronger than ever, or, I feel so healthy, I'm so glad that I'm doing this. That is the end all and be all because competing, you know, people give it a bad rap, but there's so much empowerment behind it and you get this value of your life and your body and your time. Um, and that's the way it should go. And I really have a feeling, I have this theory that a lot of girls pick a coach that kind of has the same attitude that they do and the, and the coach also brings that to their team. So it was really rewarding to hear her say that yesterday. I, it keeps echoing in my head today. Yeah, so there's a lot of fitness and a lot of muscles involved, and there's a, the other end of it, which is a lot of girly stuff. So you have to have your loose side heels. Uh, the bikini shopping is a big thing, and, and you know, the bikini that's gonna be the right color for you, and how much bling is on it, and how much do you wanna spend, and the jewelry. I, I had back surgery, so like I would love to compete next year. I'm lucky that I have my girls that I've been able to like vicariously live through, but I wanna do it myself. My little plastic trophies. Um, Depending on the competition you do, you get different kinds of trophies. Some places have swords, some have bronze girls. And it's funny because I, I put them on my shelf and I don't often look at them, and sometimes I do. And I'm like, wow, you know, I, I like, I won them. I worked really hard and I can do it again too, you know? Um, it's really rewarding, even though it's a little piece of plastic.